Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Psycho Goldfish, Will Comer, Zinzinix, and Voices by Corey. Psycho Goldfish, <laughs> Psycho Will Goldfish. Comer, Will Comer. And voices by Carrie. <laughs> voices by Carrie. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Uh, hey. We have a wonderful show for you tonight because we have no fucking idea what we're doing. We have no plan. We have no brains. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's been a while. I am Psycho Goldfish. It is good to be back on the show. Uh, how are you guys doing? Who else is here? Zin's here. Uh, also, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I'm Perfect. here. And, and Carrie. <laughs> yeah, I'm Corey's sister, Carrie. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah, this is this is awkward. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are the bullet points? <laughs> so, well, what? Good night, I, everyone. I, I, I did hear that there was an event on Newgrounds uh, recently. Um, it's a uh, Pike Seal Pike Seal Day. Pike Peace. Pike? Pixie day, on. It's Pixie day. Pixie. Yeah, no Pixie day. Uh, pixie all the Pixie day. art in the art portal. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look at that. A lot Whoa. of it NSFW. Surprisingly. Yeah, I forgot to turn the video off. Oh shit. <laughs> Hold up. I gotta clear my uh, browsing history here. Of course, the first thing Zim brings up is NSFW, though. <laughs> Well, I love Pixel Day because, I don't know, everybody, a lot of people do pixel stuff anyway. It's just kind of, I think, an art form that a lot of people gravitate to. And it's just really easy to be creative. I know, personally, I can make things look good more easily in pixels than if I'm actually doing uh, other kinds of art. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at like, sprite work myself. I don't do, like, full-on pixel art. Game-wise, I'm really good at doing, like, you know, just little sprite characters and stuff. And I can bang them up pretty quick. They look okay. Yeah. If you think a, of pixel a, art as a way for somebody with less resources to be able to make something cool everyone yeah, can enjoy. Like it's, it's not that it's a lower skill set, but it's a more accessible medium, I guess, would be a good mm-hmm. way to put it. Yeah, MS Paint. A lot of OGs started off in <laughs> MS Paint. You just, you just place one pixel at a time with your mouse. And you don't need any fancy equipment. You know, It's something anybody can get into if they want. There's some people that shouldn't because huh. you can only see so many pixel dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. I remember I was in middle school my first... Uh, uh, drawing in MS Paint was a comic and they put it in the school newspaper. It was trash, don't get me wrong, but it still felt cool to just draw something like easy. I mean, I know a lot of uh, really good pixel artists too who like spend a lot of time into that shit and I, there's no way I could ever match their talent. So mm-hmm. shout out to Template88 and shout out to who? Miruki? I, I'm probably screwing up their name <laughs> a lot, but they did the banner for Pixel Day, like the animated yeah. Pixel banner. That yeah, was so good. sexy. It looks God. good. I, ever, the last oh, Pixel Day banner looked amazing. It stayed on the site for like a month or so just because the Pixel banners kill every year. Like you remember, <laughs> I think it was Mowling. Mowling did it last year. Yeah, Mow, Mow did it last year. This year, the, the skin's a little more cartoony but still popping like i don't know the colors that they pick every time it just, mm-hmm. it just it uh, looks so good oh uh, 16 color palettes mm. oh so yeah purple <laughs> so what's, what's funny purple, though man. is every, every time we do the purple um somebody <laughs> will go to the old school portal and think that every submission on newgrounds is currently under judgment so uh, <laughs> if, if you notice tom changed changed the text from purple to pink the other day just because of that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that is. No, that I is just funny. thought it was a really cool design choice. I was digging the pink. Oh, Lewis hates the pink. Lewis that's, hates that's the pink. That's another reason we do it. Yeah, that's another reason we do it. I feel like I feel like that's a euphemism, but it's not, it's not. <laughs> Lewis, <laughs> Lewis definitely hates the pink. Though. He's not a big fan of the pink. We do know. No, okay. he loves <laughs> the stink, but not the pink. Uh, More about the brown know. than anything. <laughs> If you got the brown, he's down to clown. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're very highbrow today. That's Good right. job. Well. I really, I really do wonder how many people in here have like started off drawing in MS Paint and like what their first drawing was. Because I feel like it's always a stick figure. I don't care who you are. Like it's always a stick figure. Yeah. Right. Well, see, I, I started or pixel fish. art before MS Paint. We had these old um, fucking old Macintosh computers or the old Apple IIs or whatever in the fucking library. With the trackball, we didn't have mice, we had a trackball. And me and my friends would get in there and we would just make like scenes of like we'd make our own Super Mario Brothers scene. We'd just kind of do pixel art of Super Mario Brothers. 
That's nice. all we did. That's all so right. awesome. Yeah, and it was black and white because all they had was black and white at the time. But that's yeah. what we did. <laughs> I had yeah. friends get from pixel art into like real world equivalents of pixel art. Like, you have you guys heard of perler beads? Like, you know those beads oh, yeah, you put yeah, on a yeah. grid and you bake them together? I have a friend, yeah. I swear, oh, yeah, yeah. she makes like feet wide by feet tall perler bead mosaic masterpieces. <laughs> it's Remember, wild. I was say she just made feet. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> she just makes, she just makes like. body parts and leaves them around. I don't know. <laughs> I found a hand in the really sink. Really detailed really pixel weird. feet. <laughs> <laughs> she makes great feet. But no, yeah, pixel art is mosaic art. If you can do pixel art, then you can do tile art. Yeah, Sevi said tile art in the chat. You can do perler beads. You can do Minecraft stuff, I guess. Why did I list that? Oh, third? God. I don't know. Yeah. 3D pixels, I guess. Yeah, that's Minecraft. You're right. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. You're you guys, right. Do you guys want to just talk about Minecraft for an hour? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I know. I know. Wait, hold on. I have an important fact about Minecraft. Uh, Ch- Chutney Glaze's server is hosting a Minecraft treasure hunt that they do every so often. That's happening this Sunday. So anyone who wants to join Chutney Glaze's server, you got to be a cool kid to get in. So if Go you want to do a cool little treasure like- hunt. That's awesome. They put it. They put in a lot of work in like the treasure hunts. They make all these different houses, and they make it really fun for everyone. I haven't done one yet. I've only seen stuff about it, but I might do it sounds this like, Sunday. Sounds like trick or treating. It's, yeah, pretty much. It does. It's like that or an Easter egg hunt, like one of those two. What <laughs> Easter egg hunts? Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, trick or treating or Easter egg hunt. You try to find all the hidden chocolate eggs. You know, one of those little. Do you even fun play activities. Minecraft, Corey? Get out of here! Clearly, he <laughs> no, does. I don't. That's in Minecraft, I, right? I'm, I'm, I'm 30 years old. I don't play Minecraft like you young folk do. Yeah, he's a Roblox guy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> one of those no, Corey lives in Minecraft. Minecraft. Corey gets on Roblox and just starts looking for some some kids to play with. Okay, if you, if you, Corey, stop. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, oh, all right. God, Corey, fuck. Oh. I Here remember when it was just of two paddles <laughs> going up and down, moving a ball back and forth this screen. That was really fun. Those are the games that I love and enjoy these days. I can't get Jeez. into those RPGs. No? They're you never wanted hard. to be something other than Voices by Corey? You never wanted to be a ninja? Yeah. or like Game- That's why Game- I'm Game- Voices. Game- Voices. <laughs> 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 Strangely enough, I'm gonna be in the in the newest meet and fuck game. If you guys didn't know that, yeah, yeah that, right. that, no, 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 <laughs> no. I'm not going to NSFW for you know. I know Zoom would be all for that, but <laughs> no, <laughs> of course, Corey. I'm 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 impressed by this. Can you uh can you give me some of the lines you would be recording for your game? For the MNF game? What are some of the things I have you say? Uh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> uh, how many how many how many takes did it take to get that one? Well, it, it was surprising. Uh they, they were very particular. They wanted me to do at least 25 different takes. They said it wasn't sexy enough, which yeah, I mean, come I mean, on. I just, wrong. <laughs> Can you do the sound for when they touch the wrong knee or the wrong shoulder? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. It's just the same thing, but more intense. <laughs> oh, uh. There's subtle nuances, Will. You don't understand, okay? <laughs> this is the art of acting. Some of the options to you know turn me on is to make sure you plug in the mic properly. If you plug it in properly, you know that gets me going. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> okay. It gets Wait, my, so gets it's like my little you. meter You're going not up. Playing a, I was mistaken. You're not playing a character. It's literally meet and fuck voices by Corey edition where you're the person we're trying to seduce. Yes, Why yes. Did I not See, get that, that? that feels more like I, an escape. I mean, game. I, <laughs> 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 all right, all right. That's awesome. She's trying to get away. And he's just like meeting fucking you. Like, if it's an escape game, we need Afro Ninja to do that one for us. Christ. <laughs> so yeah, what else we got? Well, great, great stuff. You want it, buddy? Great, great, great stuff on Pixel Day. Yep, yep. So what happens when we have? But- all four hosts in one episode. We, have, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we just talk over each other. <laughs> oh. The games are always fire on Pixel Day, too. Yeah, there's some pretty, <laughs> really good games on this week. Um, yeah, tell me your favorite. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, I forget what it's called. Let me go to the front page. 
Oh, I gotta go to the front page real quick. Not a real fan. <laughs> uh, well, the one Milk Bar Jack made was pretty good. Um, the Ugly, Ugly Mumba, Mumba. Like a run and gun game. Um, I kind of liked that Advent Neon de- demo. Um, it's got some potential. Yeah, that was cool. Mm-hmm. But there's one that's kind of like it's like an acid. Tr- it's like Sonic the Hedgehog went on an acid trip. And it's currently <laughs> the big banner on the front page. And I feel like we should probably talk a little bit about Unitrace Dreams or Unitress Dreams. Uh, if only there's somebody here who could tell me how to pronounce this properly that we could bring on. Um, hmm. Oh, 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 guys, hmm. Unlimited Trees is in the audience. Should we? Should we Wait, what? 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 Who would have guessed? Oh, what? no way. Also, his Whoa, friends are in the show. Welcome <laughs> to the show. He's a ghost. I am, I am, a, I am a awesome. I am on Living Trees. I make, I'm the, I make video games, and I am awesome. Okay, so, uh, the, <laughs> question how, one. How do you pronounce the title of your game? Is it Unitrees? Well, Unitrees? It really depends. Uh, I personally call it Unitrees. Some people call it Unitress. Some cursed people may call it Unit Res. It really it depends on your personal. <laughs> it, depends, it depends on your personal preference, you know. That's what I'm calling yeah. it from now on. I'm not gonna I was gonna say I, I can't not mentioned. call it unit res anymore. <laughs> unit res, do whatever you want. I'm saying. Wait, 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 wait. So has everyone here played the game, or am I like the only one that hasn't so far? You're the only no, one that hasn't, so you should probably ask the first question then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, if we what's questions. your game about? Because I don't even get to see it. I'm on mobile. I, I've been stuck on mobile for two weeks. It's about me being awesome. Uh, you play as a ca- you play as a character. You it's a two D platformer. You go fast, and it's the art is awesome. The best that even as some people would say, uh, that's really about it. You just eat hamburgers, or go on an adventure, and just be awesome and make you know, friends yeah. along the way. I like that it's not trying to be too deep or anything. This isn't one of those deep, profound, going to leave a... It's a fun game. It's fun art. The music is fun. The characters are fun. And you go through fun levels having fun. Like, I kind of respect that, you know? <laughs> There's something yeah, very just game, pure just about it. I just wanted to make a fun game that I would have liked playing many years ago when I was a little baby playing my Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Mega Drive. Yeah, nice. you can definitely oh. feel the old school Sonic Mega Drive vibes in this game. One thing that kind of tripped me out, though, because I'm playing it, and I, I got the fact that it's a platform game, and I got exactly what you were kind of emulating, and then all of a sudden, I, like, jump into this square thing, and next thing I know, I'm playing a fucking shooter game. Like, where the hell did that come from? Whoa. <laughs> I just, it's just, it, it's a little gimmick in the, sec- the second section of Dreamscape Distance, where you go in a shooter for a little bit, and you shoot stuff, and it's just, I don't know, I just felt like doing it, because it felt cool. <laughs> Yeah, just just <laughs> randomly out of nowhere, it turns into a, like a fucking shooting game. She's th- side scrolling shooter. That's, That's actually kind of badass, really. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? The um, I, it, I mean, it just gives it some. It gives it a different type of game style, like going from a, yeah, a platformer yeah. to a shooter. Just gives it like multiple options for you to play it as you know, as a player. It, it's, it's pretty a fun cool. surprise. Right. It just it just kind of changes the game, like, and you're not expecting it. And mm-hmm. anywhere else, yeah. you see the squares in the game. You, they're either hurting you or throwing you in the air, and then you get this one, and like. Oh, I can kill shit with it. It's great. <laughs> Trees, yeah. uh, what what was your when you started this project, what was it gonna be in the beginning? Is this something you wanted to do for fun? Like did you have a starting vision? Did it go somewhere you didn't expect? What was the beginning of this thing? Well, it's quite a long story. I'm glad you asked. So it started in uh <laughs> early, early twenty actually I you could probably say it started in late twenty eighteen. I got this wacky idea for this weird video game series I wanna make about my character and then on early 2019, there's a game jam coming up. And then I said, hey, I want to make a li- really quick game. And I had a couple ideas I wanted to be playing along with for a long time. So I created what I called the Unitrish demo, the, like the Unitrish tech demo. I was, it was one level long. It had a, a, two bosses and had like, like the base ideas in it. Like you, the attack was a little bit more basic. Shielding was there, but it wasn't perfect. It was just there. It was just a little simple test. After that, I decided I wanted to make expand on it, and I made a, what the first uh, ritual the, the dream campaign, as it's called in game. Uh, it's the main campaign you play through with the tutorial and all that stuff. But it wasn't as good when I finished it, so I made another update to it, and I made added another campaign and all sorts of new content. And I've just been adding stuff and adding stuff and adding stuff, and it's expanded to this great. The big monster of mine that I like, that I love. I love that. How long is the game? I, I didn't finish the whole thing. So how long is this game? 
I'd say for casually, the main campaign is an hour long, but there's three campaigns if you're including the original tech demo demo level. But there's also a ton of extra content. There's extra characters such as Julia by Looney Dude, who's in the audience, by the way. He's pretty awesome. And there's T-Bat from the game T-Bat, which is a pretty cool game, by the way. And there's all sorts of other extra stuff. It is there's cool. There's a lot in there. There is a lot in there. Um, you go in the menus and stuff, and you just kind of, how did you cram so much in, in time for a goddamn game jam? <laughs> right? <laughs> In the the game jam, like it was just one level at the time, but I slowly started adding stuff to it over like the past two years, and in the end, I just made something I really enjoyed. Man, I That's got a question. Beautiful. It's huge. How did you finish it? Like when I make a project that's just for fun and it grows and grows, it never gets finished. It always ends up in the bin. It just grows until I stop making it or something else happens in my life. Like how did you wrap it up and put a bow on it? Well, or is that only hard for me? <laughs> yeah, it's just for me. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just started out small at first. Like, I wasn't even expecting it to be this big at first. When I made that, for that first update to the game that added the main campaign, it was, like, pretty small. Like, mm-hmm. there was even, not, not all the music wasn't even finished yet. Like, all the composers that are in it now were even a part of the project yet. I just started small, but then uh, over time, I just felt like adding more things to make it more better because I wanted people to play my game. And I feel now... I've accomplished that goal. Oh my god. So wait, why is no. it in the banner, by the way? I don't know, dude, just Tom. Oh, I'm Tom, Tom, Tom Did Tom Fulp Fulp approach you? He's like, listen, bud. <laughs> I like your style. I, <laughs> I assume he edited it, but he left a review on it, and I thank him for it, and I thank him for supporting my game and helping me out. He's like been helping me out recently, uh, fix up the credits uh, like on the page. He's been pretty nice. Oh, man. I think this place is pretty cool. Wait, but you just That's woke cool. up and you looked and it was on the banner? Like, it just kind of happened? Well, actually, on the day it started popping off, or sort of popping off, like, I was, like, my power was out all day, so I didn't even know what happened until, like, way <laughs> late. I was like, oh, hey, the, the thing, my game is on the banner. <laughs> uh, okay, I didn't even get a notification about it. It's just, well, people told me about it during the day. I still got notifications somehow. Yeah, it'd be funny if you're mad. You're like, they're ripping off my game. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's my game. Well, I don't think that happened. They just, they just put my, just people played my game and then they enjoyed it. And then they did this thing to appreciate my work. That's what I think happened. That's beautiful. Zen, I wish well, you, you had a chance to play this because um, he's got such a wacky art style. It's like, so the game itself looks like something you'd find on the Sega Mega Drive. But the characters, like when they do the cutscenes and stuff, it's like, uh, it's hard to describe. It's not like Dave Pilkey-esque. Like, this game has fucking cutscenes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it has a ton what? of dialogue I wrote. Oh, you tell me it's an interactive novel? Yes. Oh, my kinda. God. <laughs> With Sonic the Hedgehog style gameplay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! So, who did all the art? Did you do all the art as well? And yeah, like the cutscenes? Did, did basically have... all. I did basically all the art. Like, there's some very small areas that where P- I asked people to make art for me. Like, in particular, the Julia character, I asked Looney Dude to make all the animations for it, and it's pretty good. But other than that, I basically made this game by myself. Like, not counting the music itself. Oh my gosh. You're one of those oh one man band types everybody's jealous of. Yeah. <laughs> music aside, years. though, the music wasn't you, right? So who did the music? Yeah, the music the music was done by like a team of people I asked like over like at first it was just a, a few people. R.R. Thiel, uh Ash, uh Scoob I don't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> <laughs> Crash of online relationships like that. It was just it was just a couple people, but over time I got people like uh, the composer for Freedom Planet. I got uh I got uh, my friend Dante to do uh, to bring in some music. Uh, I got some I got so- Mr. Sauce Man who did the uh, Pizza Towers music and all sorts of stuff. It was pretty awesome to get all these people to just help out with my game. It was God, really nice. <laughs> jealous of your friend group here. It was crazy. yeah. What's the name of your company? Is it just Unitrez? I don't really have a company. I mean, I just made this game just for fun, really. But it's just I'm the, I'm a Ninja Tree. Yeah. So we're not talking about a studio. Tools. We're not talking about a team. We're talking about unlimited trees and his friends who wanted to help make the game. It's just it kind of comes together in this beautiful way. I kind of like that. Would it be a studio <laughs> now? What's in the future next, now? though? Yeah, yeah. What's next? Same I thought. do want to make a bunch of commercial games based on the well, based on the universe that this game sets up because this game itself is like a sort of setup for this thing I want to make, like this 
like this actual story, like some actual like really polished games I want to make in the future. It's just that I haven't had the time to make them yet or the money. Are you are you going to be solo during the the next steps too, like making the the rest of the universe or do you think you're going to invite like everyone you worked with on this one? To help I'm you with the other not, ones. Well, I'm probably not going to be solo. I, I I want to get more people to do some of the stuff I want to make because I I can't make all like all the things I want to make like in like within the next couple decades. But like I'll probably start making some smaller commercial things first, and then slowly as I am able to build up, I could make my next thing, which I really want to make. Wait, wait, bright. which is like the yeah. The... You said that like there's something next. Yeah, well, there's. Uh, well, I have this game <laughs> called Project Time. That I want to make. It's like it's, uh, basically I want to talk too much about it because it's like still very early in development. But it's like this sort of like it's like like Sonic CD, but done my way, like how I would have wanted it. Like because Sonic CD is my favorite game from the Japanese Mega CD. I have three nice. copies of it for the Japanese Mega CD. Nice. Oh my god, <laughs> man! I don't know how you're able to tap into like such a specific nostalgia for me. It's just like if somebody was back in time and made the perfect game for that console. It's so like for the time it was and beautiful. Oh, so I want to get into the inspirations about it because, like, this game has a lot of inspiration. Sonic City is mainly one of them, but like, I have like a bunch of other ones. I think like Undertale is a pretty big one, like with how it does its stuff, like how the how it like the combat and stuff like that. And also, I think of, I mean, as people might make fun of me for it, but I kind of like Steven Universe and its aesthetics and stuff like that. And uh, yes, like there's a lot of things like there's a lot of small things like Portal 2. There's some little things from that there that I like that. I It's like just a lot of things I grew up with that I just put together into my own little like idea that I wanted to make. And I just wanted to like appeal to like the, the game I've always wanted. You make it sound that's, so that's... easy. <laughs> right? <laughs> so casual. Some people will make right. a game like this and you talk to them and they're like, it was so close to not working. Everything was messed up. I got it out with two hours for the deadline. I didn't sleep for 17 days. This guy's just like, yeah. <laughs> and the thing <laughs> is, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm the perfect like person either. I've, I've been making games for, like since 2014. I've made a lot of things. I made like, this my very first project was like a game called uh, Waffle Lover, and it featured like this original character that was based off of a Minecraft skin, and it was pretty bad. Like I remade it multiple times. I barely have like all the stuff I made for it, and it's all like it's really old stuff. But you, but I had to do a lot of work to get to where I am now. It took a lot of stuff to like <laughs> grow my my work, and I'm really proud of this game because. It was something that I enjoyed making. It, your passion shows through. There's yeah. like a lot of people wouldn't put yeah. in the details that you did. Just I don't know. It just, it just pops. So like you can tell it's it's a love project. It's not I'm making it because I need money. Because there's hardly any corners cut. You know, it's just like, a lot of crazy things about yeah. my video game. <laughs> now speaking of crazy, I gotta ask. Like your your character, your unlimited trees character. Wh where did that like? Art style and inspiration come from like to me that like just screams like Dave Pilkey, Dogman things like. Is that an inspiration for you at all? Or? Uh, I don't think I've heard of those, but like my main character inspirations have like well, again like just been like Sonic CD, Nights into Dreams, like those okay, games. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I see, I see the like, night. Nice. Yeah. Dave Pilkey's like uh, okay. Captain Underpants. He did Captain Underpants. Yeah, I was gonna say like I, I like that you put that uh, comparison in there, Josh, because I, I can see that too. Now that you said, it, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you're a fan of any of Dave Pilkey's work, like it, it's it's a similar vibe, so you'll definitely appreciate it. Wow! Now I really have to play this game, I, and I have yeah. to ask you, unlimited, unlimited, unlimited res. I gotta ask you, um. <laughs> what do you you have to rank all the Sonic games now? Like start from your favorite to your least favorite. Sonic Adventures is at least number two, right? All right, Sonic CD for the Japanese Mega CD is first. Well, I guess you could also count the Taxman re-release, and then I think nice. probably Sonic Adventure would probably go second because of like my nostalgia oh. for that. Mm -hmm. Sonic Heroes. <laughs> Probably a third because of my nostalgia for that as well. Like I think even some of that went to like some of those imp inspirations from that came 
Uh, it'd probably be a lot harder for me to rank all the rest of them, but like my opinions <laughs> on Sonic the Hedgehog are, are pretty wild. Skip to I the guess. worst. What's the worst one in your opinion? All of just the, the absolute American, garbage. The American it's... release for Sonic CD. Oh. I oh, that. oh wow. that, that's not yeah, mine. Yeah, that's not mine. It makes me upset because it, it doesn't <laughs> capture the... A, it doesn't capture the style of the Japanese one, and, and it really t- like it really sours the mood that the game sets. That is an upset. enlightened oh man's God. answer. We're all sitting here waiting for yeah. Sonic Lost World or whatever, but yeah, okay. Sonic Some 06. Deep over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't play that soundtrack around him. He'll just rage. <laughs> He'll, He'll go for a fetch. <laughs> yeah, he said the worst. It me like it's <laughs> the it worst. Up shit. You're gonna keep going, making more games. You're gonna keep. You're gonna keep putting stuff on new grounds, right? All of that goes on Newgrounds. Um, yeah, I'm right. Sure. I'm not <laughs> sure if I'm gonna make any. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be like making any like b- major games on Newgrounds. Maybe some small things in the future. I might make some like just for fun. I might put stuff on Newgrounds, but currently yeah. I'm not sure because I haven't really used Newgrounds that much. I have put some of my art there, but I've been mostly on Twitter, like posting updates on my game. That's really about as much as I've, I've done. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm if I make more like major stuff, like major big art pieces or something, because I want to make some art pieces after I'm done with this. But yeah, I'll tell you what though, because a- after being on this show, you're gonna blow up on new. You're gonna be like so famous. Yeah. On new that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's you're gonna have to post on true. there because that's where all your followers will be. Yeah, that's what happened with Friday Night Funkin'. They were nothing. Then we got we, we got the interview, and then yeah, now yeah. they're all of a sudden a major hit. Come on, you know? Yeah, yeah. Friday Night Funkin', maybe getting 1,000, 10,000 views, goes on our podcast, and it gets 50,000 views a day, baby. All us. Dude, we, we, just, all, we, we literally just said Tom Falk's name on the show, and Castle Crashers is like one of the best-selling games of all time. That's right. Absolutely. Oh, the logic is flawed. That is true. That is true. Well, uh, I definitely... I definitely want to post more on Newgrounds. It's just like, you know, it's just hard for me to like, because I haven't been on the site much. Like, I'm not really used to the community. And uh, also, I just like doing my own thing sometimes. I just want to just chill around, like, make my weird game. Like, and just do what <laughs> it you'll, is. You'll fit right in. You'll fit right in. That's true. That's, that's, you'll fit in, that's you'll fit in easily. <laughs> I understand. Different different games that go to different places. The big ones go on Steam. The smallest ones go on Twitter. But hey, I hope if you uh, do weird stuff in the future, you can consider Newgrounds a place to put some work in progress, some pictures, have a community. You know, people around here have a unique way of enjoying things. So I hope you've enjoyed that so far. <laughs> I mean, you got on the banner. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> All right. I'm so. I'm surprised you haven't uh, been more involved with Newgrounds because a lot of a lot of people who make games they get their music from Newgrounds. They ask a lot of musicians because uh, mm-hmm. like Connor Grail is always doing music for everyone's games, and it's just it's it's become a staple to just work with other people. But like you said, being solo is kind of fun too. You get to be yeah. weird uh, in the background. Honestly, I probably should have like learned about like Newgrounds, like having like like the music you could use in the games because like for most of my time I've been like using like uh, stock music, like, not stock music, but uh, just music yeah. I like from like media, like from games and stuff, just like as placeholders. But for this game in, oh. in particular, like I really worked to, uh, I tried to get like my best, like co- like get in the contact all these people who I like, and I asked them if they wanted to to join my, just wanted to help out with my project. And it was like really difficult to get this sound check out. Like it took like a long time, like to get every single song done. But I really, res- I, I'm really thankful for all the composers for like doing this for me like they're like they're all pretty awesome like all of them yeah do you want to shout out to any of the musicians right now hmm. Just... i'd have to pull up the list because there's a lot of them <laughs> but, uh, wait how many how uh, many are there like 10 I, think, I believe there's about 14 of them oh my, in the god. oh my god <laughs> our feel like he like he was the very first composer he composed the main theme for the, the like he's like the very first song he made was the main thing theme for uh the Young Liberty Trees character, and it's probably like one of my favorites because, like, it's just like such a catchy melody, and I love it so much. And then now he made like a couple <laughs> level themes and stuff, and his his work is just really good. And then there's like Ash, who's done like really incredible work. Like he did a ton of songs for it, like very early on, and he made like a ton of songs, and they're all pretty high quality. And then there's Scoob I don't know, I still don't know how to pronounce her name, but like he made like the the final level music, and it's pretty good. Cosmic Gem, he made like the like the credits theme for for the thing, and then there's a uh, 
Mr. Sauceman who did some levels and the bot and the and the mini boss theme and then C C he did the he did the like the main boss theme and then there's Mini Macro who did a level. Uh, Crash she she wasn't able musician. to like, get anything. Crash wasn't able to uh, get anything done for the final release, but I still like really like really respect her for like contributing at all. And there's Little Lamp who brought in like two <laughs> songs that they made. Wolfel like the she's like really good. I commissioned her specifically like my money with money I got for my birthday just to like compose some music for the game, and it's all really good. There's a uh, Mega oh Bass who, who made <laughs> like who made uh, like one of the levels, and then there's there's this Dante like Sound mm-hmm. Circle. He he also brought in the track, and then there's Retronaut. He's like Retronaut is really good. He like makes incredible FM stuff like like 16 bit music. I think he's on Newgrounds and. He like he did, he did like all the songs he did were like really incredible and they were he did like they were like one of them was like done like on the last day I believe but you got quite the crew. All, all of them Damn. are they're all pretty incredible. Oh my god! <laughs> well, man, <laughs> Josh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yo. Josh, what do you think about the music on the game? And Will, you've played it too, right? What do you guys think about it? You think you think it suits the theme really well? Is oh no, is, it really does. I, I haven't and heard of any of it. What's interesting is uh, like he picked the perfect team because. They all mesh. They all fit that, like the same aesthetic as the visuals do. Like mm-hmm. you would think it was like one mm-hmm. sound studio producing the whole game, but it's like this motley crew of people. But yeah, it all it all blends really good together. It's got that old school. It it sounds like Mega Drive. Games. Like it's really cool. Yeah, it does blend together really well. And geez, yeah. you got a crew. I mean, you, people are in the chat right now saying nice things about you. The musicians do nice things about you. Before you, uh, before you do get out of here, is there anything you want to say to the your friends in the chat right now? Uh, uh, you guys are pretty awesome. Uh, thank you for playing my my wacky little game, and I hope people <laughs> will look forward to my work. And also, uh, check out all the composers. Like, give them all money, and uh, check out Looney Dude, uh, 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 Lake Flipper, uh, uh, Teapot, all all those people. And also, check out the people who made uh. Like uh, the game Kyle, like check out the game Kyle and Lucy Wonderworld. Like I nice. Like, that game is pretty cool, and there's just a lot of people. And also check out Haraga. He, he made a game called the uh, Yant's World. It didn't. He, the Kickstarter didn't work unfortunately, but he has a Patreon. Oh. So please support it. And uh, there's so many people. That, and please that, support our good friend Unlimited Trees and his game Unity Res Dreams. <laughs> hey thank you so much for coming on this was last minute we kind of just talked to you today and you were able to come on tonight which is awesome yeah. uh hope your game has a lot of success hope it stays on the newgrounds banner for a while and hope we see a lot more of you here yeah all right yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> just kind of a lot of pressure. I can't yeah. promise nothing. <laughs> I know. All right. Hey, thanks for coming on, man. <laughs> I think yeah, thank you. I'm a tired now. Yeah, he's tired. <laughs> he's tired yeah, now. talking to us does that. Yeah. Hey, Zinzinix, name every musician he just shouted out in order. Go. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> there was the one that was, he couldn't pronounce. It was like Scoobly. And then, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> God. I'm sorry. <laughs> <That's all laughs> I have nice, like a three nice. second attention span, which is why art works for me. Cause I, yeah. it's just one frame. You know what I mean? Animation is like a lot of frames, you know, it's too much to take in for yeah. me, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need to do an art yeah. talk where you, where you like critique every frame of an animation book. dude that would be so funny <laughs> it's like it's like a 16,000 frame animation <laughs> it's like a six hour art talk still like the dude's in finally fucking lost it man <laughs> oh my gosh man. see I, I don't think unlimited trees realizes this but now just by having a game that was on that front page banner spot he is a new ground celebrity. Right. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> he just kind of was like, oh, I was on the banner. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> right. I do love that. Well, okay. this was the first time that we did this. I thought it would be fun just to go into the forums and make a topic dump, which is what I call basically saying, hey, give us things to talk about. And got some things of uh, varying intention. Some people were serious. Some people were not. But what? yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you believe some people took the Gory shit out Blizzard. of that? <laughs> you know. I want you guys' opinion on this. This is really important, and uh, you guys are probably all going to have a different thing to say about it. So, uh, really dive into it. Drunk Gecko asks, "Is it possible to fold an octopus? And if so, explain how." It actually yeah. is. Um, you do have to dehydrate the first hour, so they go flat. Uh, you dehydrate them, <laughs> flatten them. Okay, 
<laughs> then, you, then you warm them up a little bit. No more than two minutes. No more than two minutes. You got to warm up a little bit. And then you just fold them up one arm at a time. No problem. Yep. True, Josh, true what the fuck? <laughs> I, I happen to be really into story. office folding. I really happen to be into true office story. folding. It's one of my, my passionate hobbies. So I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> I'm glad I could be here to answer that. That was a loaded question. They knew. They knew that you knew that. I know. Oh. I know the only way you would fold an octopus is you fold all their arms into the center of the body. You know what I mean? Like uh, to the center of mass. And I, Put I'm not special and... like Josh. I'm not going to microwave it. I'm not going to dehydrate it. it, was, it was, <laughs> just, I'm just going to wrap its arms yes, into the middle and like, suck to each other. It just like sticks to itself and it turns into like I a ball. I wouldn't say that's fold as much as roll, but I'll take it. You know, we're going for loose definitions here. Or something. It'd be fun. <laughs> well, you fold the arms. You ever fold your arms, Will? Now imagine that times eight. Come on. I'm folding my arms right now. And yet, it's still easier to fold than a fitted bed sheet. That's right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> you just fold it improperly, though. Ink's going to get all over you. So make sure you fold it properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like one of those tags at the retail exact. store. If you take it home, it <laughs> explodes just all over your face and body. <laughs> um, Seven Seas <laughs> wants us to talk about a Grubhub commercial uh, that she hates. <laughs> I know what the one she's talking about. I'm posting it in the show live chat. And I don't really like it either, but I don't know. Do you guys think this has some redeeming qualities? Uh, this is a weird-ass commercial. This is delivery Wait. dance one if you haven't seen it. Um, we're, like, <laughs> the, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's like watching like, kids play Fortnite, but with Grubhub. Yeah, yeah, Doesn't I can see that. Really appetizing. Yeah, like, what? Apparently, <laughs> somebody posted. I saw somewhere somebody posted a um, like a, a still from the commercial. It shows like the the pregnant woman who end up who end up she does the split, and while she's eating sushi, I guess her and the the father actually are married because it showed a picture of them like arm in arm i'm like whoa huh. <laughs> like that's pretty deep they're connecting a lot of people in this this <laughs> yeah food commercial it's, it's a whole universe <laughs> there's a deeper lore exactly <laughs> the grubhub cinematic universe there's uh oh there's, a, there's a point in it where it, they show um the guy that starts the commercial has his delivery with the kid and there's like three fucking crispy chicken sandwiches in front of this little two-year-old kid uh, i don't think the guy's a fit father <laughs> i've seen something about it on twitter i was wondering what they were like making fun of and it was like the pregnant lady or whatever i don't i don't know it's, I've seen it's something about it it's on weird for what what they're advertising i don't know yeah i don't know it's what the just... target audience is because usually animation you're targeting you know children you know like the old mcdonald's right. commercials or children -y or whatever fucking cereal commercials the, I don't know that children are big Grubhub consumers. Uh, I, don't know. I don't think so either. And they're not like I mean, old I, enough to ask their parents to get Grubhub yeah, I, or whatever. I mean, I, I, mean I gave my I gave my ten year old credit card off. It's just <laughs> I will say like this though. Just, what? <laughs> it looks like oh, I will no. say this though. They took um. A, they had a great marketing strategy though because this turned into a huge meme. Like it blew up. So they came out on Twitter and they said, Hey, you think you can do a better job than us? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do yeah, your do your best do your best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do do your best oh. re imagining of this and then we'll pick the best winner. You get Grubhub uh for a year free or something like that. So everyone's like, Oh, okay. Oh. And of course they're just shit posting now. <laughs> they're not even trying to make good content, they're just shit posting. <laughs> That's really smart. That's yeah. like a reverse psychology. Make a trailer so bad that everybody tries to make a better trailer. And then you have 50,000 trailers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and probably 75% of them are just shit posting. <laughs> How do we rate this? How do we rate this out of five? If it was on Newgrounds, do we blame this piece of shit? Is that what's happening right now? I mean, the Zero quality out of five? the animation is okay. Yeah. The yeah, quality is fine. I'd yes. say it would be like Too three, much three and a half. Yeah, somewhere around there. It, it would pass. Yeah. <laughs> Not a fan of the hip uh, level okay. going on in there. Maybe it, it, it would disappear from the popular list, but it would pass. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Um, what else we got, Will? Somebody really, somebody says, why do you feel there are so many people who are unjustifiably disgusted? This is Gory Blizzard. Guess what he says next? Oh, God. <laughs> I was just saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you don't even have to finish it. it. Gory Blizzard, who we are already, unjustifiably disgusted discussion. by the idea of blank. <laughs> and what's that going to be? We 
We we already had this discussion on the show, Will. This is I know. It's a poop joke. Yeah. <laughs> it's a poop joke. I guess the point I'm saying if is we If only it was a joke. If only it was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a poop joke without the joke. Yeah. Playing, uh, idea of playing with shit that comes from attractive people of the opposite sex. Great. Uh, we all, uh, yeah. we're all Did he really just it. ask the same fucking question? Did he yeah. really just do a, okay. a two P? I think maybe he's just writing a different knows. answer. All he knows. <laughs> oh, That's shit. all he knows. You know what? You asked me 50 times, and I actually have to change my mind. I do like it this time. You really got no. through to me. Uh, hey, right, let's that's, do a real that's one. That's Will's answer. Yeah. <laughs> let's do a real one. Ugo Sano asks, if you could meet your favorite content creator on Newgrounds, would you do it? And I'm going to add to that, and who is it? Oh, I see him every day when I look in the mirror. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> is it Tom standing behind you? That's funny. Yes, he's just Hold judging on. me. Hold on. <laughs> on a side note, let's just say Lewis, Lewis uh, once told me, because like when I was getting involved with the Newgrounds community, he's like, be warned. Be careful when you meet your idols. Like, uh, be careful what you wish for when you meet your idols. So if you do end up meeting like the person you look up to, they're not always gonna be, like the best person wants personality. So I get, but I would, because even if they, even if they're a dick, I'm still gonna support them. You know what I mean? It doesn't it doesn't yeah. matter to me. Oh, and who is it? Who is my favorite content support hard, right? content creator? Um, let's just let's just say I like Mogi's drawings. A lot, I guess. I could do Mogi64. We could say that's my favorite content creator because I haven't seen anyone make anything as unique as their art. So there you go. Cool. Anyone else? No, are we just, <laughs> no one else has are we, favorites? Are we, are, we, are we just talking about like YouTube or Newgrounds in general? Like It does say is, is on it, Newgrounds. Like, specific? It could clarify. On, on Newgrounds? Newgrounds? Yeah. Okay. I would love to meet Swain. Swain yeah. was probably the one who he was the one who brought me to Newgrounds. Um, I I want to say I saw one of the uh, uh, Blockheads episodes on E Bombs World or something. I'm like, ooh, what's that? And then I realized that there was more of his cartoons on Newgrounds, and I fell in love with Blockhead. I fell in love with Mastermind. Um, his voice acting is phenomenal. He's a great animator. He he makes great games. The guy is just awesome. He's a if you follow him on Twitter, he's also an amazing cook. And I just want to sit down with him at dinner one night and just eat the food he preps because it. Oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> I know his cooking I, Twitter was, is off the chain. Yeah, he's yeah, cool to hang just, out with too. So yeah, good yeah. Cook. Yeah, I was gonna say he said he seems like a really cool dude, and I would just love to sit down and, and chat with him and pick his brain. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, that's a good choice. I love his food too. We need to do a Swain cooking hour. We got to get him on here at some point. Yeah, yeah cool. uh, audio-based cool. cooking. <laughs> yeah, it was just what the ASMR. <laughs> yeah, nobody talked. Just sizzling. <laughs> That's really good. We, we good. can do that next time. I make uh, next time I make something good. I'll I'll host a cooking episode. Um, it'll be barbecue, and it takes about four hours. But uh, let's do that. So almost as long as St. Patrick's Day, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we'll basically be drinking while i stand in front of the grill and... right uh, <laughs> i like this idea actually <laughs> that does sound pretty fun actually i would i would tune into this um fro fro says i'm competing in my first strongman competition in may and set up a donation page to help cover some of the cost if you guys think you could fit a plug in there somewhere that'd be great hell yeah fro good luck on that thing yeah, i'm fro! definitely putting that link i i got i got a pause right there i couldn't help but notice will skipped the last question he did. Oh shit! I didn't mean to. Okay, yeah. it's the way. Oh, he's trying to get. He's trying to get out of it. No, <laughs> on the spot, buddy. On the spot. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna pick one. You know what? There's some like um who I've actually tried to interview a lot in the past, and it just kind of doesn't work because he doesn't like to do it. I don't think Happy Harry, freaking amazing yep. creator. Oh That's yeah, my pick. absolutely, absolutely, That's same a great pick, pick for me. Um. He's one of my favorite people to hang out with. I don't get to see him very often because he lives across the pond. But every time I've had the opportunity to to meet him and hang out with him, I mean, he's just a ball of life. He really is. He's fucking. He's funny. He's he's mm-hmm. going. He doesn't take himself seriously. Great guy. He's he's easily my favorite person I've met through Newgrounds as far as oh, content creators. I want to meet him now. Sounds great. 
I was thinking just like <laughs> one thing Happy Harry does that's so cool is he's an advocate of frame by frame high quality animation, even after he's kind of yes. seen the drawbacks of doing it nowadays, of how how mm-hmm. easy it is to make other kinds of content, how big, you know, like the story time animation, animatic stuff is getting. He's one yep. of those guys that's like, I'm going to do only quality frame by frame. It's what I studied, it's what I'm good at. I'm doing it. And you can support me if you want. I think that's just a very pure oh, art form. He he had to have his arm twisted to start like getting support. Like he did, he's like, oh no, I don't, I don't think it's right to take money to just do that. I take so long. <laughs> <laughs> they they had to twist his arm to get him to open up his uh, Patreon and all that stuff. <laughs> and I'm glad he did. I really am. Yeah. I'm I'm I don't think there's any harm or any shame in getting a Patreon out no, there. So people he's, he's like just, straight up like you. Absolutely. He's so yeah. humble that it, it never crossed his mind. I don't think so. Everybody's like, you need to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um. That would be mine. For, uh. <laughs> I think I think his last animation was Trilby Dogtooth, right? Mm-hmm. That was. Yes, yep. it was like Which uh, was awesome. five months ago. Straight it was fire. A, was that back in April? It was a long time ago, but it was fucking amazing. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> oh, but yeah, shout out to Fro. He fucking he fucking messaged me on Facebook. Was like, dude, Tom sent me fifty bucks in a Newgrounds t shirt. I'm officially sponsored <laughs> for the for the strongman competition. I'm like, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> God. Another quick shout out. Terabyte says, uh, "Me and my team are almost finished with Angie Half Life collab." Keep going, Terabyte. You're almost there. I hope they're almost yeah. there. Yeah. I wouldn't lie. Also, shout out to Evangeline. Evangeline collab as well. It's oh, coming yeah. out. Even Evang- though, Evangeline. even though, yeah, Evangel. I always say their name wrong. <laughs> Evangeline. Mia. 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 Evangeline. <laughs> yeah. Well, shout out to that collab. Even though uh, the producers or the studio that owns it uh, was like, no one, no one's allowed to make off-brand anything about it anymore. Oh, so yes. we're still doing it. So yes, yeah. because it's new grounds. <laughs> we get away with it. Which is why we still have uh, the one Bugs Bunny animation by Meat Canyon still on new grounds because you can't touch us. I, guess. Mm-hmm. I hope so. <laughs> Actually, somebody on Twitter <laughs> asked for uh, someone to help voice Shin. Uh, what's his name? Shinji in the uh, yeah Shinji. Evangelion, and I I put my name out there for it. I didn't get an answer, but I was excited for a second to voice. All Shinji. right, let's hear your best Shinji impression. Go okay. for it. No, I can't pilot the robot. I'm too sad. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's I just beautiful. All I got. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anything else we got? I give well, it a ten out of ten. ten. We, we got we got a shout out to the uh, sexiest outfit contest too. Uh, there's a some weirdo on Newgrounds hosting this thing. Hmm, who I don't know who who hosts a fucking contest like that, and how come it's getting so many more views than the other guys? Like, what is <laughs> what is yeah. up with that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does have the word yeah. sexy in it. Yeah, I'm just I, I messaged Tom about it like back in uh God back in September. And I was like, yo, after the new year, I want to host uh two contests, and one of them's gonna be the sexiest outfit contest. Do you think that'll go over well? So like, yeah, I think that'll go over well. I'm like, oh, all right. I'm like, I feel like in winter, I feel like um after winter, like in all the holidays and shit, like the NSFW community just kind of like dies down a little bit. So I'm like, Tom, I'm, I'm trying to tap into that market, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this sounds great. Awesome. <laughs> I'll close us out with a very important thing. Ork Ork asks, what do you guys have on your Subway sandwiches? It's a valid oh question. Oh, my God. I don't um, eat Subway. I, I like to have a uh, Witch Witch instead of Subway. That's the good answer. Subway. That is the right answer. What is Witch Witch? It's a great restaurant. It's awesome. Is it? It's, it's, it's is a it? sandwich joint. Yeah. It's, you, it's uh, warm sandwiches. They're toasted sandwiches and... You go in and they got like, you know, the bags that your sandwiches come in, you grab one of those and you check off what you want on your goddamn sandwich and you hand it to the broad at the counter and she rings you up. You don't have to talk to her and they can't fuck <laughs> up your order because you checked what you wanted and then they go through and make your sandwich the way you want it because they got to follow your checklist mm-hmm. and then they toast that <laughs> shit and then you buy a cookie and they got cookies with M&Ms in it and they're fucking great. And they're named after Will's girlfriend. And yeah, Courtney's <laughs> cookies. Courtney's cookies. Wow. Yep, that was her. You know, the thing about Witch Witch is you can actually draw on the back of the bag, like in Sharpie, what you do the checklist with. And you can actually, I don't know if yours does this, uh, but they will like have a, uh, like a, 
clothing yeah, line on the wall. wall. Yeah, there's an art yeah. wall where you can draw art on the back of your order and you can put the bag up on the wall. Yeah. So it's just a bunch of I wonder wild. how many bags have Among Us characters on them right now. <laughs> not not going to lie, there's a restaurant that's like maybe five miles away from my place right now. I, like we'll go there like every other weekend or so. Like they have amazing brunch and they allow their customers to draw on the walls. And there's probably four or five little Among Us jelly beans on the walls now. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> of that, course. That's definitely the little kids drawing yeah. Among Us <laughs> on the walls. And I just laughed to myself. I'm like, <laughs> I like that. Can I, be, can I be honest with you guys? On my Subway sandwiches for dressing, I would do oil and vinegar. That's good. And pepper, maybe a little pepper. Oh, is, oh, is that normal? Yeah, I would throw a red pepper <laughs> <Yeah>. on there. <laughs> okay. All on. right. I guess I'm not weird. All right. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm validated. Oh, my gosh. So if, if I have to eat Subway, it's probably the Italian Subway. Cold cut combo. Uh, it's the cold cut combo. I eat one a day to keep me big and strong. Get, get the Italian on the, the white bread with the uh, fucking provolone cheese, lettuce, some onions, some mayo, some mustard. This is where we fade this is where we fade yeah. the audio out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going out about his sandwich. And then when I go to Witch Witch, it's the Italian grinder with fucking pesto, Oil. olive, and mayonnaise. And mayo. You gotta go to the Just hey, you gotta make sure you have some red. weed in there too, Let's man. See. Make sure you yeah. put weed in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's here. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the New Grounds podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye. You didn't ask my answer. Oh. It was just bread. The answer was just bread. <laughs> just bread. <laughs>